Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, we're here under very unfortunate circumstances. My name's Harrison Tuttle. I'm the executive director of Black Lives Matter, Rhode Island Political Action Committee. And we're here today because uh, this past Monday, uh, October 10th, uh, there was an incident here right at this park in which multiple minors, uh, and including uh, an individual bystanding man, was assaulted by the police, as well as a man who has yet to be disclosed by the police department who punched and shoved multiple minors. Um, and so today it's really important for us to highlight the story of multiple parents who um, some were seeing their daughter uh, and their children on FaceTime being mocked as they were trying to get away from a situation in which multiple teens were thrown against the cement, uh, being kneed on the back. Um, and so today it's really important that their story is heard. Um, and with that, I want to introduce uh, Alex Kithis, who is the um, executive director of Rebuild with Soccer. Um, hi, I'm Alex Kithis, the executive director of Rebuild with Socket. Uh, here to speak both on behalf of the organization and on behalf of myself as a lifelong member, uh, resident of this community. Uh, I and our organization are appalled by the events that took place um, just a few tens of feet from here last Monday. We stand with the victims and their families as they seek justice after what can only be described as a horrifying use of excessive force and the neglect of due process by members of the Woonsocket Police Department. I'm going to keep my comments short because it's more important that we hear from the families and victims who experienced this uh, uh, municipal violence firsthand. Rebuild Woonsocket echoes the demands that have already been laid out by families uh, and by the BLMRI PAC. We join their calls for uh, investigation by Attorney General Nerona um, and uh, calls for the acting mayor Gendron and the Woonsocket Police Department uh, to fully comply with that investigation since this happened under their administration. We're calling for the release of the Parks Department footage of the incident if it exists, compensation for the victims, and the arrest of the man who assaulted multiple minors. And we're calling for the immediate implementation of body cameras in the Woonsocket Police Department and the statewide repeal of the Law Enforcement Officers' Bill of Rights, uh, the law that will make it much harder to prosecute the police wrongdoing that was so clearly caught on film last week. Make no mistake, last week's events were preventable. There is no reason that this should continue happening across the country and right here in our own community. We cannot allow police violence to continue. Uh, and we cannot allow police violence to be normalized. Uh, we cannot allow police violence against literal children, against innocent bystanders, against brave individuals who were merely exercising their right to film abuses of power. This has got to change. We have to rethink the way that our community does public safety, and we have to hold the officers involved in the events of last week accountable. Our organization is calling for our state and municipal leaders to openly and unequivocally stand with the victims of this violence and on the side of justice and against police abuse of power and authority. Thank you.